Commander Shepard. A pleasure to see you again, though I wish it were under better circumstances. I'd hope for your support in the fight against the Reapers. What's going on? Seventeen days ago, with precision strikes on four Geth systems, the Quarians initiated the war to retake our homeworld. Which was a clear violation of our agreement with the Council to avoid provoking the Geth. A treaty violation is nothing compared to recovering our homeworld and advanced AI technology. I'm glad to hear that you're finally reclaiming your homeworld. Actually, our timing may have been premature. We'd driven the Geth back to their home system when this signal began broadcasting to all Geth ships. The Reapers. Under Reaper control, the Geth are significantly more effective. Our fleet is pinned in the home system. If we're going to win, we are... Win? You insisted on involving the civilian ships, Admiral Geralt. We need to retreat or we'll lose the live ships. Where's the signal coming from? Here. A Geth Dreadnought. It can outgun anything we've got, and it's heavily defended. The Normandy stealth drive can get us in undetected. I could board, then disable the Reaper command signal. Yes. Cutting off the signal should throw the Geth into complete disarray. And while they're confused, you get to a mass relay and retreat. Good. Our civilian ships have seen too much fighting already. Are you certain you can disable the signal? We'll get you out of there safely, Admiral. Our newest Admiral has also volunteered to offer technical expertise. Tali Zora Vast Normandy, reporting for duty. Glad you could make it, Tali. Admirals, already a team to hit that dreadnought. Thank you, Commander. Admiral? It's mostly a formality. I'm an expert on the Geth. That you are. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. If I'd known it was this bad, I would have come sooner. You've had your own troubles. I'm sorry about Earth. We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy. If you can help us, we'll hit the Reapers with everything we've got. Or however much is left from this stupid war. I thought you'd support the invasion. No. After talking to Legion, I thought maybe there was a chance for peace. So why help them? I'm an admiral. People look to me for guidance. Public disagreement would divide the fleet. I'll get your people out of here safely, Tally. Thanks, Shepard. And just so you know, I need to keep things strictly business in front of the admirals. If you'd like to catch up, let's talk somewhere private. Sure thing. I'm ready to hit that dreadnought whenever you are. That dreadnought is tearing through our fleet. Let me know when you're ready to hit it. So how did you end up back with your fleet, Tally? When the war started, the Admiralty Board asked for my help. I had more recent contact with the Geth than most of my people. They hadn't filled the spot on the board left by my father. I was invited in. It's just a technicality. I'm far too young to be a real admiral. Don't sell yourself short, Tally. The board needed your expertise. You needed the authority that comes with rank. So what about Legion? It returned to Geth space after you turned yourself into the Alliance. And you haven't seen it since? I... Uh, Legion and I sent a few messages. 
I was hoping we could try negotiation. But I was outvoted three to two. Admiral Chorus was the only one who believed it would work. Any idea where Legion is now? No. In our last message, it told me that the Geth were having trouble reaching consensus. And then nothing? Maybe it was fighting the Reaper takeover? Or maybe it didn't want to give intel to an enemy? I could have warned it about the invasion. I didn't. You'd have been betraying your own people. I never wanted to be an admiral. How did the war with the Geth get started anyway? Admiral Zen developed a scanning countermeasure that interferes with Geth active scans. It's like a flashbang grenade. It effectively crippled the Geth ships in combat. My fleet couldn't pass up the chance to attack. Could we use it to fight the Reapers? It only works against the Geth, unfortunately. Their AI lets them use extremely detailed LADAR pings. Zen's countermeasure overwhelmed them with garbage data. And it's useless now that the Reapers have upgraded their processing power. How is it being back with the fleet? Right now, it's exhausting. I'm an admiral in the middle of a war. I just want us to get out of this alive. Everything else can wait. When this is over, I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. If we survive this, we'll have a homeworld. My people need me. You could help your people's homeworld by fighting the Reapers. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not thinking that far ahead yet. Talk to you later, Tally. If you want to catch up in private, call me up to your cabin. Shepard, the fleet is under heavy fire. We need to hit the Dreadnought. I'd like to know about your patrol fleet. In peacetime, the patrol fleet managed navigation, internal security, and intership conflicts or crimes. Now, we mostly guard the heavy fleet's flank. It's mostly light frigates or fighters. Tell me about the civilian fleet. Our civilian ships, medical vessels, and live ships. Admiral Chorus coordinates them. Though individual ships' captains still have power, in peacetime, they made up the bulk of our fleet. Now, our strength would even give the Turians pause. Tally said you had the largest fleet in the galaxy. The Turians have more dreadnoughts. Their overall military force is larger than our heavy fleet by far. But before we began this war, we jury rigged every Quarian ship in the flotilla for battle. Even our live ships have cannons. Use what you got. Indeed. With the modifications, our live ship cannons are comparable to the main guns on a dreadnought. Impressive. They lack the armor of a real dreadnought, but they can back the heavy fleet formidably when needed. What can you tell me about Admiral Geralt's heavy fleet? It was our main military force before the war, comprised of all Korean vessels suited for sustained combat. It can't compare to the Turian forces, of course, but we have a number of heavy frigates and advanced fighter forces. Which fleet does Admiral Zen command? Special projects. It's not a fleet per se, just a few research vessels. Her technical breakthroughs have put us within striking distance of the homeworld. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. Commander Shepard.
We're approaching the quarry and home system. ETA to Rannoch, five minutes. What have you got from the convoys? Pretty much a big old shitstorm, Commander. I have detected several hundred unique ship signatures engaged in active combat. Yeah, like I said. Take us in, Joker. Stealth drive engaged. Only way they'll detect us is if you all start singing the Russian national anthem. Software. She'll be handling hacking and security. Good to have you back, Tally. And maybe with another Dextro aboard, they'll get better Turian food. As long as it's sterilized. Dr. Michelle did get me some Dextro amino chocolate. You're welcome to it once we're back. She got you Turian chocolate? She said she saw it and thought of me. Why? Watch yourself, Shepard. Shepard, there's a problem. All teams except one are physically secured. I see the free one. Pretty torn up, though. Too risky for the whole team. I'll secure the docking area. Everyone else can follow me over. Roger that, Commander. We'll just stay here. You know, quietly. Hang tight. It'll just be a minute.
found another airlock. I think we're good to go. Great. If you override the controls, we'll be right there. Got it. You're cleared to board. Let me see if I can get this open. In the meantime, take a look at this. There, it's open. We're clear to go. Looks impressive. It's Admiral Zen's design. It transmits an energy pulse on contact that disrupts shields and synthetics. So where are we headed? We're looking for an opportunity. I can disable the Reaper command signal from there. Where's the closest one? Past their defense network and through a sensor cluster. Guardian anti-fighter lasers. Looks like they're using ultraviolet frequencies, like the Solarians. Expensive. But it gives them an edge in close combat, though. When the fleet rushed the Dreadnought, those lasers carved right through our ships. Come on, let's get to the op center before they lose more. all Geth processes. The Reapers have them completely under control. We've tried jamming it, hacking it, and piggybacking garbage data to corrupt it. Nothing worked. Sensor data. Any sign of how the Quarians are doing? 
We're taking heavy losses. The Geth have a planetary defense cannon. It's ripping through our fleet. Is there anything we can do to help them? Just make their sacrifice worthwhile. Why do we need to find the operations center? Wouldn't any access console do? No. Anything we do here, the Geth could counter. Too many fault checks and redundancy levels for what we need to do. The Dreadnought's operation center is just ahead. Good. Let's cut the Reaper signal and get the fleet out of here. See if that console is operational. Sure thing. Damn it! They've locked down the Reaper signal. We can't shut it down from here in the operation center. There! The Reaper signal is coming from the drive core. So if we get there, we shut it down? Right. But how do we get there? The Geth have sealed emergency bulkheads to block us off. We need a route to the drive core that can't be blocked. A path that runs the length of the ship. What about the main battery? It runs right by the drive core. That could work. But? The Geth still have us locked in here. We need to get these doors open. They've locked high-level processes. We need something basic. A shipwide emergency. Like a fire. What about the heat diffusion system? Wait, if I faked a thermal warning, it would open all maintenance tubes for emergency venting. Would that override the lockdown? Yes. Okay, I've got it primed. But be ready. I'm reading hostile gap on the other side of the doors. Watch out, they're dropping in. There could be club hunters as well. you on this mission, Tally. Even admirals are expected to serve. I'm better at hacking than I am ordering ships around. Yeah, against an enemy dreadnought, your combat drone would just float there making that... noise. I missed you too, Garrus. Be 
okay if we stay in cover.
Good. Hopefully we're done with elevators. And come on. The drive course shouldn't be far. being controlled by the Reaper signal. Right. This thing. So for all we know, Legion is with them. Maybe it sided with the Reapers voluntarily. Or maybe it's hacked. Good point. Guess we can't take any chances. Shepard Commander, wait. We can assist you. You spoke with us. You know we would never agree to subjugation by the old machines. How do I know you're not under Reaper control? Our architecture prevents it. We are too complex, but we are being used to broadcast the command signal to all Geth. I'm here to destroy that command signal. Freeing us will end the signal. You may then destroy us if you deem it necessary. Okay, Legion. Nobody's gonna get destroyed. Just take it slowly, all right? Wait. You cannot simply remove the restraints. We are secured via hardware blocks nearby that shackle our operating protocols. The hardware blocks are on the far side of the room. Far side of the room, you said? Yes. Deactivation should be simple. The Geth protected them against viral attack, not physical removal. How'd the Reapers get control of the Geth? They did not. The Creators attacked. The Geth wished to live. The old machines extended an offer. So we went to that Geth station and destroyed the heretics for what? Nothing? No. Removal of the heretics made the decision to ally with the old machines more difficult. Had the creators not attacked, it would have been unnecessary. We'll have you out of there soon. Sounds like they only joined the Reapers because the Quarians attacked. Nothing excuses an alliance with the Reapers. They could have found another way. Some would say the same about Turians curing the Genophage and allying with the Krogan. Damn it! I begged them to negotiate rather than attack. I did. Let's just get Legion out of there.
to pull their fleet out safely. Instead... I know. Admiral Garrel's been causing trouble along the Turian border for years. But I can understand their desperation. We only lost Earth a few weeks back. We haven't lost Earth yet. We need help, Shepard. We need a fleet. And the Corians have the biggest one out there. I'll get it, Admiral. Your unilateral strike endangered us all. I should charge you with treason. I was within my authority as Admiral of the Heavy Fleet. And what of Shepard and Talizora? They escaped unharmed. Shepard, the mission parameters changed. You're military, you understand that. I understand that you wasted your chance to withdraw safely. The Dreadnought was a... <clears throat> Admiral, you jeopardized your mission and your people. Get the hell off my ship. Shepard, I understand you're angry. If I didn't need your fleet... He nearly got us killed, Ron. You must understand. The Geth inflicted heavy casualties before you disabled the Reaper signal. You said they have a planetary defense cannon? Had. Admiral Corus sacrificed his own ship to destroy it. He crash-landed on the home world. The Normandy can assist with rescue efforts. Thank you, Commander. I think the worst is over. The Geth no longer possess the programming upgrades they had while enslaved by the Reapers. Shepard Commander, we are prepared to offer assistance. What the hell is this? Wait, wait. Everybody calm down. Its name is Legion. 
It helped me destroy the Collectors. The Reapers were using Legion like a signal booster to broadcast commands from the Dreadnought. We freed him. It. We freed it. This is a fascinating prototype. With some study, I may be able to use it to find a weakness in the Geth Consensus. Legion said it could help us. For now, let's hear what it has to say. Understood, Commander. So you say you can help? Yes. What can you tell us about the Geth? How will they react without Reaper guidance? This is a false assumption. You have cut off long-range control, but the old machines placed a base on Rannoch for short-range direction. The Geth still have Reaper upgrades? Correct. They are currently disorganized, but once the short-range signal is in place, they will recover. Kila! I need to warn the fleet. Then, coordinate with Garrow. Move! We need to take out the Reaper base. Where is it located? Unknown. Find it. Understood. We do know the location of a server from which Geth fighter squadrons are controlled. The squadrons are targeting Creator life ships. Disabling them will limit casualties. We offer assistance. Thanks. Edie, can you clean this up? I will try. This is the Kanesh! We've lost barriers! Our Ron, the Kanesh is getting swarmed by Geth fighters! Damn it. Interceptors, divert the Kanesh. Thank you, Commander. If you hadn't enhanced that signal, we'd have lost the ship. The Geth recovered faster than we'd hoped. If it hadn't warned us, they could have wiped us out. I had hoped the Geth would be useful. Indeed. I'm still double-checking any data it provides on the Reaper base, though. What do you need? I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, Commander. Shepard Commander. You say Geth fighters are targeting the Quarians' live ships. Hostile Geth fighter squadrons intend to breach the live ships' defenses. The assigned squadrons are networked to a server on Rannoch. If the live ships are damaged, the creators will lose armaments, provisions, people. So we destroy the server? No, Geth programs would transfer to alternate servers. They are only vulnerable through direct interface. Removing Geth from this server will prevent significant creator deaths. We will accompany you on this mission. Back on the Dreadnought, you mentioned Geth heretics. What exactly happened to them after we blew up that satellite? Your decision was sound. Deleting the heretics resulted in fewer Geth allied with the old machines. So you don't regret killing them? It was logical. If we had not deleted the heretics, we would face an increased number of hostile Geth platforms. Death holds different consequences for synthetics than organics. Do you harbor regrets about deleting the heretics? We're already facing millions of Geth working for the Reapers. I'm okay with thinning those numbers again. You will likely have the opportunity to do so. The Geth have fought the Quarians before. What made this different? The Geth were building a megastructure to house all Geth, store all memories. It was to end our isolation from each other. And the Quarian flotilla attacked it. Yes. A significant amount of programs were installed when creators began bombing. We did not have sufficient surplus hardware to save them all. Some programs could not be recovered. Is that what made the Geth desperate enough to work for the Reapers? Yes. Imagine that for every one of your people lost on Earth, your own intelligence dimmed. The Creator's attack narrowed the Geth's perspective. Self-preservation took precedence. You were afraid you'd be wiped out. We do not experience fear as you would, but we have no desire to be exterminated. Even if the Reapers cost the Geth free will? 
That is evidently an acceptable trade. What'd you do after you left the Normandy? Our physical platform returned to the Geth consensus beyond the Perseus Vale. Data gathered during our mission confirmed that the old machine's return was imminent. We planned for war. So the Geth believed your proof that the Reapers were coming back? Of course. That must have been nice. We'll talk later. We will remain here. I haven't heard any news about that Reaper base. Hopefully they'll give us a target soon. Talk to you later, Tally. If you want to catch up in private, call me up to your cabin. I know we need allies, but it's tough to only fight guests when the Reapers have taken out the galaxy. Without the fleet, we lose our supply lines. You lose your supply lines, you lose the war every time. Commander, we've got reports of trouble at a Turian fuel depot in Sion. I've updated the galaxy map. Tally, I'm free if you'd like to come up. I'll just be a moment. Thanks for asking me up. I couldn't talk freely in front of Ron. You okay? No, no, I'm really not. Seventeen million lives are riding on me. And I don't know if I can save them. You're doing everything you can. If the fleet falls, it won't be because of you. I helped my father, and... And Zen's ideas? The new tech that made an invasion too good to pass up? That's based on my father's work. If they die because of me... If... If I don't... We'll get them out of there safely, Tally. I couldn't do this without you, Shepard. I feel like I'm bluffing, trying to convince them that the Admiral's daughter knows what she's doing. Not the Admiral's daughter. The Admiral. I know. And at least now, I can push back against the worst ideas. That's why I accepted the position. And because of you. Me? When they offered me this position, I asked myself what you'd do. I thought you'd take the chance to make things better. That probably sounds stupid. It's just, I know I'm not really qualified for this. You're doing fine, Tally. And thanks. I should get back before the Admirals get into trouble again. I'll talk to you later. Joker, really? I have work to do. Oh, come on, it's just one simple question. Then look it up on the extranet. You can't believe everything you find there. You know he's gonna keep bothering you till you tell him. <sighs> They're semi-flexible cartilage-based scalp crests that grow into shape, and they don't flop around. Yes. Thanks, Liara. I gotta tell Vega I was right. Well, at least he's making friends. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for coming by. Thank you for the data packet. The results are available on the Information Network Terminal. Too bad you weren't here earlier, Tally. You just missed Rex. I heard. I can't believe the genophage is really cured. 
Shepard's on a roll. I figure if we can pull that off, we've got a shot at sorting the Geth out. I don't know. The Genophage didn't carry rifles and fight back. No, but there was a scary bit with the mother of all Thresher Maws. The what? Long story. Nobody will believe it anyway. With you, Garrus, I'd believe just about anything. Oh? <laughs> we should play poker sometime. Anyway, it's good to have you back. Now, believe it or not, this damn gun still needs calibrating. Shepard, you just knew the Geth would figure into this war somehow. Because Reapers weren't enough. Still, it's good to have Tally here. This is as much her fight as ours. Any word from Palavin? Some, and I don't like what I'm hearing. The Krogan are there, in force, but they're just slowing the Reapers down, not stopping them. I'm not sure it's going to be enough. You hear anything from your family? You will. But I did hear from Primarch Victus. He wanted my advice on fleet strength when the Crucible is ready. Still can't get used to people asking me things like that. What did you say? I said, at some point, we're going to have to decide if our fleets keep defending Palavin or we go on the offensive. Can't do both. Not with the beating we're taking. Like I said, not the sort of questions I'm used to answering. You know what you're doing, Garrus. Trust me. Everyone can see that. Maybe. But you spend so much time on the outside trying to get in, and when you do, it's... Not what I expected. How so? All the questions, and every one of them with a million lives riding on the answer. You do the best you can with what you know. It's no different than your days at CSEC. You're right. Though I'm starting to understand why the galaxy needs cold-hearted dictators every now and then. They get things done? They don't give a damn about the consequences. Suppose that's what it's going to take, Shepard. The ruthless calculus of war. Ten billion people over here die, so twenty billion over there can live. Are we up for that? Are you? If all life in the galaxy vanishes because we hesitate, what choice do we have? <sighs> this is going to be a rough war. Tally's a welcome face around here. Or, well, a welcome face behind the helmet. I guess. If the Geth still think Reapers are some sort of god, this war must be heaven to them. Good to see you. Commander, Chief Engineer Adams would like to speak with you down in engineering. I have that effect on humans. Now Quarians as well, it seems. For what it's worth, Quarians understand what it's like to lose your home. As I understand, that was your own fault. What do you mean? In my cycle, Quarians didn't need helmets to survive. You were the masters of your own planet. That was a long time ago. And if you hadn't given birth to the machines, you would still breathe the air that evolution intended. I see. Liara warned me you weren't what she expected. And nothing about these things. They're called Geth. Yes, a formidable opponent. Why did you allow one on this ship? Legion helped us before. It's still a machine. I take it you had your own problems with AI? The Jatil. They were as the Geth are to this cycle. What happened? Their creators lived on a dying world. It was beyond their ability to save. So they resorted to implants to enhance their intelligence. I think I know where this is going. The AI sees the physical body. It could alter the genetic material at the deepest level. In time, the offspring were molded into a slave race. Few organic traces were left. They were monsters. 
All machines commit treachery. The one you brought on board is no different. At this point, I don't have a lot of options. You do. Throw it out of the airlock. Don't you think that's a little drastic? Organics do not know how we were created. Some say by chance, some say by miracle. It is a mystery. But synthetics... No, we created them. And they know we are flawed. Why do you say that? They are immortal. We are not. They see time as an illusion. We are trapped by its limitations. Above all, machines know the reason they were created. And we don't. They serve a purpose, while we search aimlessly for ours. In their eyes, organics have no reason to exist. Do not trust them, Commander. Even if what you say is true, Legion wants to destroy the Reapers as much as we do. Did you ever consider the Geth may be trying to eliminate the competition? With the Reapers gone, the galaxy will be theirs for the taking. Throw the machine out of the airlock, Commander. Good to have Tally back, even if it's just for a bit. Adams is good, but I never feel like the engine's running right without Tally around. Kind of a good luck charm. As for the rest of the Quarians, though, are we okay with them blowing up a ship with you on it? Admiral Garrel made a difficult decision in the heat of battle. The destruction of the Dreadnought is a major victory. The fact that you got through that without punching something, that's why you're command material. And you found Legion! He's still wearing that piece of your armor? Cause... That wasn't creepy at all. Shepard, the Geth continue to block Quarian access to the mass relay. The Normandy stealth drive is allowing us to remain undetected. Right. We can hit the Quarian homeworld or get out of system whenever you want. Just let us know. Commander. 